guys, good evening. It's me, Callie the Witch. Tonight, I'm going to be showing you my journal entry for this month's creative journaling journey with the Gypsy and the Witch, and our theme was the Enchanted Forest. So I made this page for my sister, the Gypsy, Miss Rita Marie, and I had a blast doing it. If this looks like something you'd be interested in checking out how I did, please stick around and I'll show you how I made it. And when you're done watching this video, please make sure you check out Rita's video that she made for me, as well as all the links below to our Facebook group, The Gypsy and the Witch, and our personal links as well. So I hope you enjoy this. I had a blast making it and I'll see you inside. Okay guys, let's get started. As per usual, have no idea where I'm going with this page. But I thought I would lay down some torn book page. So I just grabbed some, you know, I have a stash of books that I've altered and things like that. And I'm also just gonna use my Americana decoupage matte medium, have an old paintbrush, and it's just a good way to put down a background and it gives me time to think. Uh, about how I want to do it. So I'll just lay this down randomly and I'm not going to worry too much about it because you know me, we're going to be putting layer upon layer, I'm sure. I don't know much, but I know about that. So these are some good old book page books I've gotten at the auction, things like that. I have some dictionary page here, some cookbook. You can see I've already put masking tape down the center. I do that between every page. Okay, so I'm not going to have you watch me do every single piece, but I'll be back here when this is all laid down nicely and dried and by then I should have an idea of what I want to do for the second layer. So I'll see you back here when that's all finished. Okay this is nice and dry and I just figured for the next step and I've put down some paper towels to prepare that I would just do use some of my spray ink. So I'm going to use my DecoArt Media Misters. This one's in primary cyan this one is primary yellow, and this is turquoise, and this is a shimmer mister. So I'm just going to spray them at the top and kind of let it drip down. Sorry, you're not going to be able to see this for a second. That one, or maybe, you know what, I'll do it this way. I want the book page to still show through, but I just want to lay some of this down. And try a little yellow. Just to brighten it up. Want it a little runny. That looks cool. Okay. So I'm gonna let this do its thing. And when that's dry, we'll come back. And maybe I'm going to use some texture paste. I'm not quite sure. Um, somehow we're going to incorporate a magical tree here. So that may be the focal point. Um, I'm not really sure yet, but I'm just going to keep moving the page around while the ink is still fluid and let it just kind of run around. Okay? So we'll see back here when this is nice and dry. Okay, this is thoroughly dry now. And I think for the next step, I want to do some stenciling. So I debated back and forth what colors I wanted to do and I decided to do a little metallic and I'm going to use my Decor Elegant Finish metallic paints. This one's in champagne gold and I have a random stencil with some flowers on it and I'm just going to kind of add these to the background. Um, so I'll just shake this up and I'm going to take this right from the lid. 
And I have a little makeup sponge here. Just a little bit. I don't want too much here. I just want kind of glimmers. Um, Cause after all, it is an enchanted magical forest. And I don't know how dark this is gonna be. This may not show up how I intended, but it may be just the right touch too. So you never know. And I think I've decided on, you know, wonder of wonders. I'm going to be incorporating a tree here. Um, but I thought, oh, that's pretty. Got a little, uh, I'm going to leave it, but mistakes and all. Got a little smushy there, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to draw out a tree separately, maybe on a piece of cardboard or construction paper, haven't decided yet. And, you know, have that be a little fairy home or something like that. I know not very original. Oh, that's actually kind of pretty. Even with the smushes, I don't mind it. Let's do one more in the middle without messing it up, she says. Uh, you know what? All right, I'm going to let that dry a little. And maybe I can sneak one in down here. Now, let me let this dry. And then I'm going to do one down the middle, too. And I'll come back. I really don't mind the mess ups. Sometimes in life there's mess ups, right? So maybe I'll just edge around here with this. So I'm gonna draw out a tree or something tree-like and I'll come back and I'll show you what I did. All right, we'll let this dry and I'm gonna do one more right down the middle. See you in a minute. Okay, so I told you I was thinking about doing a tree and I, I really, I'm just gonna go with this. I really have no idea, but I went and got some scrap pieces of paper, some cardboard and some different things with texture. I think I may use these as, to try to emulate tree bark, but first I'm going to um, put a base down and we'll glue these textures onto the base. So. I just have this scrap piece of paper and I folded it to the size so I could kind of get an idea of what I'm working with. And I'm just going to lightly sketch out a stump. And again, we're gonna be um, gluing on top of this. And I don't want it to be too big but I just want an approximation of what we're going to be cutting out. And maybe there's a little twig branch sticking up or something. I don't know. So look at that. Isn't that just fancy schmancy? Uh, so I'm going to cut this shape out. And then, like I said, I'll be gluing um, these pieces on to kind of give the appearance of tree bark. And then I'll paint it up, and I may even put a little magical door in. You never know. So I'll see you back here when that's done. I just wanted to give okay, you Okay, I think I have an idea of where we're going here. So you saw me sketch out the stump, and I did a little branch, and I cut a door. And I think this will be inside. We'll have to do a little indoor thing, but this is what I'm thinking of. Uh, put this here, and then maybe this will hang off. I had it on this side originally, but I think I want it to go here. And then maybe we can hang a little lantern or something. Um, so this is what I'm looking at. I'm going to glue this all together. And like I said, we'll take these pieces, and I'm just going to rip them up and attach them with some Aileen's Tacky Glue to give it a, a bark-like texture, okay? And then after that's on, I'll be painting it either with acrylic paints or sprays, not sure yet. 
so yeah, L let me finish embellishing this. I'll do the same with the door. Maybe we'll do a little window or something. Just make a little magical tree house in this enchanted forest here. So I'll see you back here when this is all glued up. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm back with an update. I'm loving how this stump is turning out. It's still a little wet from the glue, but I just did what I said I was going to do. I glued down the corrugated cardboard pieces that I had, and I used a little bit of different texture on the door, and I just glued some mixed media paper in there. And the top, I used some jute twine, and I just glued down, and then I just wound it around to kind of look like the inside rings of the tree. So this will go here, and I also did the side branch, which I'm still debating on if I even want to use it or not. I thought it would look cute with like a sign hanging or a lantern or something, but we'll see. I may or may not use that. Now basically all that's left is going to be the embellishment part. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using or what I think I'm going to be using. Uh, one thing that I thought I would incorporate is this copy of a journal page that I did about two years ago. And this has some of my original fairy artwork in it, as well as copies of some embellishments that I had gotten in Happy Mail. So these mushrooms, this butterfly, and this fairy all came from Happy Mail. This tree here I had done with collage strips of magazine paper. And I think that I'll be cutting out some of these elements and incorporating them in the page, just gluing them down. Um, that's one thing. I also have this really cool little embellishment that I got in some happy mail, I believe from Deb Buchanan, uh, Serendipity 629. And this says, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. And that's by Roald Dahl. And he wrote James and the Giant Peach, amongst many other things. So I thought that either that could kind of go inside the door, or maybe on the back piece, or... I don't know. I thought I may use this with these. So this stuff will be cut out and incorporated somehow. And then I also, last week was coloring. I have this adult coloring book called Detailed Designs and Beautiful Patterns. And I did a page last week with watercolor and colored pencils. And I just did jog my memory when I was thinking of drawing out some leaves. I thought, oh, I already did leaves. So I may cut up this page, as a matter of fact, I'm sure I'm going to, at least cut these leaves out, and maybe these smaller leaves too. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to glue down these embellishments. One of these days I will learn how to fast forward my video, and you'll be able to see me actually doing that. But for now, I'm going to just explain my process to you. And like I said, I'm using my Aileen's Tacky Glue, and I'll be gluing these things down. So I'll see you back here when all that's done. Boy, it's funny how fast it all starts to come together once you start gluing things down. So I just wanted to check in and give you an update. And as you could see, I've been very busy. I use the painted um, adult coloring book page. I cut up some of that for the border, as well as cutting out some of these leaves and this little piece here. So I glued all those on. There's the little branch I was do talking about before. I've decided not to hang anything from it for now. <laughs> uh, what else? Here's the fairy girl. I just cut her out along with the mushrooms. She's a little tough to see because she blends in with the background, but I will be uh, outlining everything. That's gonna be my next step. I have my um, Faber-Castell pit pens. I have a brush pen and a fine liner as well as uh, my Signal Uniball in white. So I'm just, I'll be outlining things. Um, this butterfly came from an old calendar and I put a little brad for a door handle and I glued that those who don't believe in magic will never find it in there. So I'll be just, um, you know, fine lining things and detailing things out. So that's gonna be pretty much the Next to last step, because once I get it all detailed, 
then I'm just going to put a coat of sealant on it and we're going to call it done. I think it's really cute. It's very enchanting. I'm loving the way that this turned out and I hope my gypsy sister Miss Rita Marie does too and I can't wait to see what she came up with for me. So I'll see you guys as soon as I'm done outlining everything and putting a coat of sealer on and then it'll be done. So I'll see you when it's done. So I wanted to give one more final update before I put the sealer on. And I'm in love with this page now, you guys. Um, of course, I went back and I added something hanging off the tree. You knew I would, right? I thought about doing a little, um, you know, the fairy is in or magic or a lantern. But I settled on a little heart and it's just hanging here from a little piece of twine. So I thought that was cute. And I also added some glitter, and this glitter is very magical. It has little crescent moons and stars in it, and it's even in a magical cauldron. I think this is Harry Potter glitter. I've had it for years and years. It just added the perfect touch. So I just took a little on my finger, and I smeared it around some of the background pieces, and also in here where it says those who don't believe in magic will never find it. I also put it there and I hope you can see that okay. And the light catches it. It's just enchanting and wonderful. So the last step you guys is just to put the sealant on and I'm choosing to use my Americana acrylic sealer in matte. I also have a glossy one, but I prefer matte and I'm going to give this a good coat and let it dry overnight and then that's gonna be it so please if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you have not yet subscribed I would love it if you did don't forget to check out my sister Miss Rita Marie I'll put all links below including a link to join the gypsy and the witch group on Facebook we post a new theme monthly and we encourage you all to join along and show us what you guys do so I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll give you one final shot when the gloss is on and insert some pics. See you in a bit. Okay, so here's the finished page. The sealer is all dried now, and I'm just in love with it, you guys. I hope you are too. I hope this has inspired you. Again, I'll put all links below. Come join us at the Gypsy and the Witch. Check out my dear sister, Miss Rita Marie, the Gypsy, her page. And keep the magic alive in your heart. And always believe in fairies. See you guys soon. Take care.